Hello all, and welcome back to the Black Tower Podcast. Uh, as most of you have come to know, I am Andrew, and today is a rather sad day for us here at the Black Tower Podcast. <clears throat> someone that we've come to know very well over the last several months, someone that we enjoy hearing from and talking with, unfortunately is no longer actively on the podcast. Of course, I am talking about Aaron. <clears throat> nothing bad happened. Nothing wrong happened. There was no fallout between us. There was no bad blood. Nothing like that. <clears throat> so maybe the best way to convey this is uh, Aaron wrote up an email and sent it to the podcast email uh, for me to read to everyone as his words uh, announcing his departure uh, from the podcast. So <clears throat> says leave taking. Sometimes saying goodbye is the hardest thing to do. Andrew and I started on this journey last fall with the only expectation that we would nerd out over our favorite books and that perhaps some people would listen to our inane ramblings. Never in our wildest dreams did we anticipate the warm and heartfelt welcome that we received from the community. On the other hand, I could not foretell the amount of time and energy that would go into putting out this show week after week. My first responsibility needs to be for my family, and regrettably, I have one week at a time allowed them to become secondary to the podcast. In light of this, I have decided to step away from the show and hand it over to Andrew. I cannot stress this enough. There is no bad blood between Andrew and myself. This is not due to a falling out or because of any difference of opinion. We have laughed and cried together. At times, we were serious. Andrew will continue without me, and I wish him all the best. I look forward to listening to the Black Tower for many years to come and will continue to be active in the Wheel of Time community. I have tried to keep my personal Twitter account and the podcast account separate, but I will say that, that if anyone wants to connect with me on my Twitter, my username is at Nightwolf5831. I love you all and look forward to continuing to interact with all of you. Saying goodbye is the hardest thing to do. Good thing we don't have to say goodbye. Tashar Malkir. <clears throat> Again, that was the email that I have from Aaron. I asked him how he wanted this to be announced. And his response was that he would write up something and send it to me. And, you know, I could tailor it however I want it. But I didn't want to change <clears throat> anything that Aaron said. Um, I think it's beautifully written. Um, it expresses an, an honest and earnest sentiment that I don't think any of us can be mad at. And in honor, of course, of this, I am, I say of course, but I am drinking the same beer that I drank when Aaron and I first started recording. Uh, of course, that is Yingling, or the old Pennsylvania gold, as some people know it as. So this beer is for you, Aaron. Uh, I know you'll be listening to this when it comes out. And <clears throat> just know that you always have a place on the Black Tower podcast. Should you ever choose uh, at any time to come back either for an episode or uh, you know, guest on an episode or if things change and you can come back to the podcast, uh, you will forever have a spot. You will never be told no. And you will never be asked to wait. When Aaron and I met, I know we talked about it in the Christmas crossover episode with the White Tower podcast, that I was asking on Twitter for just some ideas about how or what to do um, a Wheel of Time themed podcast on. And Aaron was the first one to kind of respond to uh, my little tweet and take and start making suggestions and stuff. And um, I know the way I kind of poised the question was, you know, and, you know, if people would be willing to do the podcast with me, you know, I don't want to just sit here and talk by myself, even though the dog wants to shake her head behind me. Um, I was to the dog, not to any of you guys. <laughs> well, you're free, feel free to lay down. Um, and Aaron and I very quickly became very good friends. I know a big part of that is the shared military background. There's a very special bond 
the military members have that uh, we just can't explain to anyone that hasn't really experienced some of the stuff we have. So it's, I, I don't know how to explain that kind of kinship or bond that I quickly developed with Aaron. <clears throat> but uh, I came to really look forward to um, what what became talks twice a week, at least over voice. And even more conversations occasionally on Facebook or started off, I think, as some messages on Twitter. And then we started talking on Discord. We've we've been we've done a lot together and by no means. can I take credit for even half of it. I've said it many times before. Aaron has been our Twitter presence. Um, I would say a good 75 to 80, if not higher of the time that you saw a tweet from the Black Tower podcast uh, Twitter that it was Aaron. Um, he set up everything with Podbean as our hosting site. He set it up to automatically port over to YouTube to automatically tweet out the new episodes. He set up the Facebook page as well and has been active on there. <clears throat> he he's He's done a lot. And together, we were able to put out uh, 19 official episodes, ones that we had planned that had topics that weren't, you know, bonus episodes or midweek reviews, but a grand total at this point of 28 episodes that uh, would not have been possible without Aaron, which has brought us to, as I'm looking at it right now, today is the 7th of March. Um, of course, I am recording this right before uh, it goes out. <clears throat> it, it's been a long week. Um, it's been a rough week, to be honest with you guys, for for more reasons than this. Um, I've got some personal stuff going on that I, I may or may not talk about with you guys later. I might save that for a Facebook Live conversation or something like that. So, But I, I'm not sure about that yet. But um, this certainly has brought... I don't want to say stress. I don't want to say anything negative because I full, I, I completely support Aaron's decision. <clears throat> you can ask him on, on Twitter or whatever, but there's been several times where I told him, Hey dude, family first. And I get it any time that you need to, I think even once I said step away or any of this other, um, just let me know. We've rescheduled um, several times. So that to work better with his schedule because his wife would like to have a night or, or he needed to do something for his family or with his family. Um, and we've just as many times rescheduled because of stuff I needed to do. And I hope that it came across in the product or the episodes that we were putting out, um, how well we worked together, how much we enjoyed working together. It, it was seamless from almost day one beyond the normal, just trying to figure things out. I am, I'm definitely going to miss Aaron here on the podcast. I think all of our listeners will as well. I, I know, I don't think, I know all of you guys will miss Aaron's voice uh, just as much, if not more than I do. Because I'll at least still get to hear it, hopefully hear it uh, a couple times here and there. I, I've told Aaron that I, I want to stay in contact, and if nothing else I can through the Wheel of Time community on Twitter, and I, I don't know he'll be, you know, reaching out and talking and offering his commentary whenever he can. But <clears throat> this is something that you should always do in your life. Whenever there always comes a time in life where you have to look at what's important, make your priorities, and trim away things that may still be important to you but are not the, should not, cannot, and are not the most important things to you. I know Aaron loved doing the podcast, not just because of the conversations we had, but by the sheer effort and work he put into it, by being the main media presence for us, by doing all the production for the episodes, the editing, which as of this moment, um, I'm just, as as Aaron can get it to me, um, he's getting me some of the audio files and stuff that we've used. Uh, and I'll be downloading those. 
and <clears throat> trying to relearn, uh, or not relearn, but learn a new audio editing program to, you know, bring these episodes uh, and hopefully try to maintain the, the same quality that Aaron was able to do. So please do bear with me over the coming episodes. So I, I, you could, I guess, weeks um, as the episodes come out. I'll be trying to figure a lot of stuff out. There's a lot of a lot of stuff I need to learn, uh, and uh, this does come at a time that I'm quite busy in in my personal life, uh, which is fine. There, it's no big deal. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so if if you have figured out the kind of schedule that we were setting up already, uh, normally uh, the episode that would be put out on the eighth. Would have been a book review, the book review for uh, book three, The Dragon Reborn. I was trying to make that the first episode that comes out every month. Thought it was a good way to start the month. Like, hey, it's a new month. Here's a review of a book, you know, of the next book in the series. <clears throat> but I definitely felt that this wholeheartedly deserved its its own episode. Aaron has been an integral part of this podcast from the start. Uh, no matter how unsuspecting he was of the role that he was going to play, um, joining in the podcast, can't thank Aaron enough for the uh, little over five months of time that he's given, uh, not just to me, but to Order of Time community, the Will of Time community, to making this podcast what it is now. It could not have been done without him. And no matter what comes after, there'll always be some part of the podcast that's missing without Aaron. Uh, will forever be my brother and an Um He's still hanging around in the Discord. You know, he, he's not really disappearing from the community, like he said in, in his email. Um, maybe not on the podcast, or not maybe, just not, won't be a, a voice on the podcast, at least not regularly. Um, I do hold some hope that he will be able to come on occasionally, uh, at least as a guest here and there. But we won't know until that time comes. So, of course, this is going to be a short episode. Uh, there's only so much I, I can say. Um, so I, I'd be happy to spend an hour uh, saying how how important Aaron uh was and is to this podcast and how much he did, uh, not just for the podcast, but for me, um, true brother in arms, uh, even after serving. But it'd be probably a lot of repetition, and you guys don't want to listen to me talk about this, you know, kind of sad news for like an hour. So as you see Aaron around in the community, if you see him on Twitter, his Twitter handle is at night, N-I-G-H-T, wolf, W-O-L-F, Five eight three one. So go give him a follow. Feel free to you know express the sentiment that you're going to miss him, that you look forward to seeing him around. Again, wh whatever the case is. At the same time, please don't pester him with messages or anything like that. He's doing the right thing. He, what he feels he needs to do, which is always the right thing, which is what any person should do. Um, always do what you feel is right. With that, of course, is the the kind of theme that Aaron and I had in mind when we started this podcast it would, is that it would be a conversation-style podcast, that it'd be always be at least two people that would pick a topic or an idea for a topic or something, and we talk about it for 45 minutes to an hour, uh, the ideal time frame. And with Aaron gone now from the podcast, that's not a that's not a format that I can currently continue. I, I can't. I'm not good at voices. I can't do two separate voices and pretend to have a conversation with myself. I, I couldn't even think of that much. I talk too fast. <clears throat> I am going to be looking for uh, another co-host. I don't know who that may or may not be at this point. I haven't talked to anyone. Uh, as far as I know, no one in the entire community knows other than Aaron and myself about him having to step away from the podcast until until this episode comes out tomorrow, of course, uh, on the 8th. So if you or someone you know may be interested in the 
enjoying uh, or at least trying or attempting. I don't even know if that's the right verbiage to use right now. I don't want to say auditioning, but I guess throwing their name in the pool to maybe be a co-host. Feel free to reach out via message, a uh, private message on Twitter. If you're in the Discord server, of course, you can uh, message me on there. Um, that's no problem. You can email us at blacktowerpod at gmail.com. And if you want any of the links to <clears throat> any of this, you can go to blacktowerpod.podbean.com where there's a link to our Twitter, a link to the YouTube, which is, like we've said before, just the audio files ported over to YouTube, uh, a link to our Facebook, which is going to be important for... I'm going to try to do at least one Facebook Live thing a month. Uh, it just kind of depends on time and availability right now. But there's also a link to our Discord, and there's still, of course, that link to our Patreon. Then if you click on Contact, uh, there's four tabs on the Black Tower Pod blacktowerpod.podbean.com um, home about contact and support. If you click on contact uh, the bottom of that, well you see there's a, a little blurb and at the bottom it has our email address that you can reach out to us at. Um, <clears throat> so if you or someone you know is interested in it um, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about choosing. It may be something where let's say if, if three people want to want to give it a shot, uh, record an episode with each individual and, <clears throat> you know, ask the community, you know, which co-host did you like the most? A lot of it's also going to depend on, on how well we, we work together. Obviously, there's got to be a, a certain degree of, uh, I want to say chemistry or compatibility, but yeah, uh, into being a co-host. If, if we don't get along or, you know, we don't work well together, then we're not going to have fun. We're not going to want to do the podcast and that defeats you know, 99% of the point of doing the podcast. But no matter what, the Black Tower podcast will continue. Um, it will not maintain this current somberish mood that I've got going on. Uh, some of that's just, uh, I'm exhausted at the moment. Like I said, it's been, it's been a very, very long week. But as you guys see Aaron around, show show your love and support. The man is is doing what he feels is right. What he feels is right for his family. Uh, I'm behind him, and I fully support the decision, 100%. No questions asked, no hesitation. Family always comes first, as I've said already. But uh, and I don't know how many of you guys saw this, but something that Aaron frequently puts in his emails, frequently puts in his contact with other whoever is, whether it's on Twitter or not, uh, is the inspiration for this episode's title. Um, and I think it embodies well wishes from <clears throat> uh, especially myself, but you guys as the listeners uh, and the community as well. So wishing Aaron uh, success in whatever he pursues uh, now that he no longer has to devote time to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a lot of a lot of blank space. Um, so I, I've got to figure out the editing program and and you know tinker around with it. Ah, there there you go. There's a there's a pun for the tinkers. But uh, I've got to figure that out. And I'm still I still need to get a couple audio files that Aaron has already said that he'll get to me as soon as he can. Um, busy busy man. So that that's why there's. There's going to not be any, there wasn't any intro music. There's not going to be any outro music. It's just going to start with me talking and finish uh, with me talking. But again, there there was no bad blood or anything between Aaron and I. This, this was just as sudden on me as it is sudden on you guys now. I know it's something that was very hard for Aaron to come out and tell me because I know how much he loved doing this podcast and being a part of this podcast and being able to talk about it, um, fill a time series with somebody. It, this is go probably going to be uncut, unedited. I might throw it in the editor um, and see if I can double check the, the sound quality and everything and then upload it to Podbean. Instead of the usual sign off here, um, this is our sort of farewell episode 
for Aaron, the voice that will be missed on the Black Power podcast. Um, he's well and good. Uh, I love how I just said that, and it's almost like the guy just died. Uh, but he didn't. He, he's he's definitely well and good. Um, we we talked earlier today. But um, <clears throat> you guys that are listening, um, I definitely appreciate your continued listening to the Black Tower podcast. Hopefully what we become in the future will continue the tradition of what we've been in the past. Uh, we'll still be uh, equally as enjoyable for those of you guys that you know tell us how much you love the podcast, how much you enjoy it. And again, any suggestions, any recommendations, you can still contact uh, contact me at any of the any of the contact methods, you know, email, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Well, not YouTube. I really don't check the messages on YouTube. I mean, you can comment on the videos, and I'll try to check them, but um, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, and then Discord, of course. Discord and email are going to be the fastest ways, and a, and a Twitter direct message. Um, those are going to be the fastest ways because uh, those will all come straight to my, my personal phone. But um, whatever makes you feel comfortable, however you want to do it. So I, I look forward to the future, and I, I can't can't wait to see what happens. You know, there's a lot of good things coming up. Um, tomorrow we're recording an episode with a guest that you guys will get a week from tomorrow. Um, so there'll at least be two voices on that one. And it should be a very good topic, a very good discussion. Um, I've got to do some show prep after I get this episode ready to launch for you guys to have on the 8th. Get the show prep over to the guests so that they kind of know where we're going. In the spirit Aaron, so you're listening to this episode, uh, whether you're uh, on your way to work, on your way home from work, whether you're listening to it with your with your lovely wife and and child, or you know wherever you're listening to it. Again, Aaron, you are always welcome on the podcast. Uh, there will never be a time where I tell you no, you cannot come and talk on the podcast. That will never happen. And you will always be a brother. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, I do hope to stay in contact with you. I, just, I look forward to talking to you again uh, as soon as possible. Still, one of your favorite phrases that I saw in emails all the time, may you find water and shade, Aaron.